Well, it's that time again, y'all. It is time to share some of my best drugstore dupes. These are products that are, for the most part, better than their high-end counterpart. I always, my heart starts fluttering. The whole reason I started my YouTube channel in the first place was because I felt like so many YouTubers I was watching that I loved were trying so many products I couldn't afford. And so even though I am currently very, very blessed to be able to try so many different types of makeup at different price points, and while I still do have a lot of luxury and high-end favorites as well, I definitely feel like if you can find things that are just incredible products, period, and you can save money, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? And so that's what we're diving into today. As I always do in these videos, half of my face is done with the drugstore dupes and the other half is with the high-end ones. So pause the video, put your guesses below. A lot of times, a lot of you guys are wrong and that's even more exciting because I feel like that means that the drugstore side maybe looked more luxurious. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Obviously I've done these videos before. As I've mentioned, I have a whole playlist if you want to binge some more of them. I try not to repeat dupes ever and I'm planning on doing a lot more of these drugstore dupes videos here on my channel in the next year so definitely subscribe okay shameless plugs over let's dive in so. first thing that touched my skin today other than cleanser okay fine i lied i didn't clean my face this morning <laughs> i always like to think that i'm gonna like wash my face in the mornings it just doesn't happen are you guys a morning face washer or no i wash my face i do a solid skincare routine every night and i really am pretty good about that but in the morning it's just not happening, y'all. My skin is like nice and clean. I'm like, we're good here. So the first thing truly though that touched my face this morning was sunscreen. And so I have a luxury favorite that I've liked for a while and it's from Murad. This sucker's expensive. Like, I don't even wanna say the price out loud expensive. I, and actually, I don't know exactly. I feel like it's like $60 or something stupid. Like it's, it's super high. It's their Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So I love this because when I would use it, I would feel like I'm putting on a moisturizer that has good skincare in it and it's serving as my sunscreen. I love that that's kind of all in one. So it's got vitamin C, antioxidants, ginkgo biloba, leaf extract. It helps against the environment. Like there's a lot in here that's really good. I kept thinking there's gotta be something out there that's similar because really this is just a really nice moisturizing facial SPF that doesn't leave a white cast and it leaves your skin feeling hydrated. Then I discovered the Milani SPF BFF. And if you saw my video trying this, I think I even said out loud, I might've edited, did, it out, <laughs> but I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is definitely a dupe for the Murad stuff. So both of them are white moisturizers that blend in completely. They do not leave a white cast at all. It's not one of those types of sunscreens that you keep rubbing and rubbing and it takes forever. It's not like that at all, but they both leave behind a super hydrated feeling. And that's why I like this kind of SPF because I don't feel like I need to put on a moisturizer and a sunscreen, you know what I mean, etc. It's nice to just do it all in one because honestly, if I have to do more than one step for that, I, I just won't do it. <laughs> That's the reality. <laughs> so for the Milani one, it does say it's got a lightweight lotion texture, natural finish. This one has vitamin E and glycerin. Obviously, when we're talking about two very different price tags, it's gonna have different skincare ingredients in it. That's something, a decision you need to look into for yourself and kind of decide what you're looking for. But beyond that, the feel of these is very, very similar. I would say maybe, the Milani one takes an extra four seconds to blend in versus the Murad. It's not enough of a difference that I would feel like anyone needs to go out and buy this. I really do feel like this is doing the same thing. And the whole reason I'm really putting this on at all in the morning is because I want that sun protection and they're both providing that too. So hydrating sunscreen for the face, absolutely beautiful. Also the name SPF BFF is maybe one of the cutest product names of all time of all time. Uh, so another dupe I found is for the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. This is a very unique primer that I think people either absolutely love or don't like at all because it is pore filling, but it also leaves behind this kind of hydrating look. A lot of times when someone is wanting a pore diffusing primer, they're kind of wanting their skin to look a little bit more matte. They're way more concerned about the oiliness and the pores than they are about hydration. But if you're like me and you kind of have normal to dry skin, I still want some pore filling, but I kind of don't want it to make my skin look dry and matte. I like that little bit of a glow. And that's why I've grown to really like this product. I very quickly after trying this realized, oh my gosh, this reminds me of my favorite primer and it's from Revlon. It's their Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing makeup and skincare primer. So this has vitamin B5, hyaluronic acid. It has some good skincare in it, but it does the same thing. I've been saying for like a year now, this is amazing because it fills your pores 
but it also is hydrating. So again, this is something that if you are looking for pore filling and mattification, you probably won't like this at all. But if you're like me, normal to dry, I think you'd love either one of these. I find myself reaching for the Revlon one a bit more because the biggest difference between these is that the Revlon one is just ever so slightly tackier when you're done applying it. And I feel like my makeup adheres to it a little bit better. Whereas my makeup still looks nice over the Rare Beauty one, but it's just that slight difference that makes me reach for the Revlon one more. I'm trying to drink less caffeine, so I'm drinking decaf right now. Quite honestly, it makes me realize that I love, y'all know, I love caffeine, I love coffee, I love tea. <laughs> a lot of times I'm just wanting coffee, especially like it's 1 p.m. right now, 1.30. A lot of times I'm just wanting coffee for the feel of the warm drink, and I'm not really necessarily always in it for the caffeine, so I'm not minding it so much. So this is a product that is getting so much buzz here on YouTube. It's from Kosas, and it's their Cloud Set powder. What's kind of funny to me that this is taking off is that this basically is just a classic setting powder, a pressed setting powder. But like for me, I tend to reach for either like a loose powder or a powder foundation that I feel like for a lot of people, especially if you're someone that does watch a lot of like YouTube beauty videos, maybe you watch a lot of TikTok beauty, I feel like we forget about just traditional setting powders that you can use in your T-zone. It soaks up enough oil, but not like a crazy amount. That's what this is, but it really is nice. I feel like the reason this is kind of magic is because it'll soak up oil for someone. Again, I would say normal to dry, super oily skin. This might not be enough, you know, oil soaking upage for you. <laughs> but it doesn't make my skin look crazy powdery. I feel like it doesn't highlight like a little peach fuzz as much as other powders do, and that's why it's lovely. However, e.l.f. makes a sheer tint finishing powder. Y'all, this is the exact same product. It does the exact same thing for me. It kind of flattens the areas out in a good way. It makes it look a little bit more even, a little bit blurred. It's the exact same thing the Kosas one does for me. I feel like you cannot see a difference between this side of my face and this side when it comes to like, the amount of glow and coverage and stuff like that. Neither of these are gonna give you like insane amounts of coverage. That's not really the point, but it soaks up just enough. I feel like it makes my makeup last longer. So I would say the Kosas one is lovely. If you're like dying to try it, the e.l.f. one's the exact same. So you absolutely don't need to spend the money. All right, this one is, I almost didn't mention, but I wanna mention anyway, I'll explain. So this is a newer product to me that in this past month, I have fallen in love with, again, getting a lot of buzz here on YouTube. It's the Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. The reason everyone is loving this and the reason I love it is because it is so easy to apply and to work with. It blends in so seamlessly. I never have to work at it. It doesn't stick to certain patches of your skin. You've got time to kind of work it in. Like it is just the most forgiving, beautiful cream bronzer. I've tried a lot of cream bronzers in my day and this is one that really has stood out above a lot of other ones because of that reason. My dupe for it, and I wanna say this is with a caveat, is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I really feel like this is so similar. If you look at my bronzer today, and obviously I'm not wearing a ton of it, it gives a very similar look to the Say one. It's looking almost the same. I feel like application-wise, I apply it the exact same, and it's just as easy to blend in. It stays in place about the same amount of time as the Say one does. My caveat is I do feel like this e.l.f. one is not as creamy. Now that might be a good thing for you. I think if you have oilier skin, you might prefer the e.l.f. putty bronzer over the Say one because the Say one does have that slightly creamier finish. But again, I feel like longevity wise on my normal to dry skin, they both wear the same, they apply very similarly. So in this case, I'm not totally certain that the e.l.f. is better than the Say, but I do think they're so, so similar. I really couldn't make this video without just at least mentioning it and showing what they look like compared to one another. All right, so here's a favorite, the Tower 28 blush. This is not exorbitantly priced when we're talking about some of the other luxury ones I'm talking about. Tower 28 really is one of the more inexpensive brands at Sephora, for sure. This is my favorite shade of the Tower 28 cream blush. It's in Magic Hour, and it is like this light peach, it is so beautiful applied with your finger. I have it over here, it blends in so fast, it again, it's so forgiving. I don't feel rushed when I'm blending this in. It's not gonna stick to certain patches of your skin and it stays really, really well. And again, because it's a cream, it makes your skin not look so powdery. It doesn't highlight maybe areas of your face that you don't want highlighted, like weird texture or whatever. Well, the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush is definitely a dupe. They are such similar formulas. Even if you were just blindly just watching them, 
they feel exactly the same and same thing. I apply this with my finger. It blends in so quickly. I've got time to work it in. It stays all day, which for a cream blush can be hard to find ones that wear a long time. These both do. It's funny, these in the camera, the Milani one definitely looks darker. I have it in Nude Kiss, number 110. But when I blend them on the skin, they look very, very similar. So just interesting. All right, the next one I'm not wearing on my lips and you'll see why. I have two very different shades from the two brands, so it wouldn't really make sense to like <laughs> split it in half. But I will show you them on. So I have loved for years the Lancome La Absolu lip lacquers. These are special because they are a lip stain that actually has a lot of color to it. So you put it on and it just kind of feels like a really thin, I don't even want to say gloss because it's not sticky at all, but it's a super thin formula you put on. It's kind of hydrating. But what's crazy is you put it on, it will look as glossy as you see it all day, <laughs> all day. I don't understand the magic. I literally cannot fathom the science. Like how does it stay kind of wet looking? But it does and it stays in place and it stays all day. Like it, it, it's truly mind boggling. I don't know why there aren't a million people talking about this all the time. So the shade I have is a nice kind of berry red. It's in 168. I love it. However, I just placed an order for two more shades of this product here. It's from L'Oreal and it is their shiny lip stain. It is the exact same product, a super thin formula. It stains your lips. It lasts all day. That shininess stays. It's comfortable. Like it's bizarre. Now the reality is Lancome and L'Oreal, I'm pretty sure are owned by the same umbrella company or whatever. So there's a very, very, very high likelihood. These are like the same formula or at least like awfully similar. So that's always something to keep in mind with like families of brands. There's always that chance. I don't, I don't know that much about it, but I'm just saying they're the same formula. So I would say save the money. There's a reason I literally just picked out like two more shades. I'm looking at my cart. I haven't checked out yet. Two more shades of this because I want more. However, this shade here that you saw me try on is in 300 B Uncontrollable and it's such a pretty everyday lip color. I can put it on. I can be drinking coffee, doing whatever I'm doing and it just stays. Oh, so good, you guys, so freaking good. So a brow product that, again, I almost didn't mention, but I'm gonna mention anyway. The Fenty Brow MVP is just a brow pencil. It's a micro brow pencil, it's really thin. There's nothing, I don't think, super special about it. It's a good brow pencil, but you can find that at pretty much every price point. But what's unique about this is the brush that it has on the other side. Instead of a traditional spoolie, it has this kind of super soft brush it really nicely will pull and distribute the color you've put in your brows because of how dense and soft this is. So I really like the brush. So I was super excited when recently I tried the NYX Fill and Fluff because even though the pencil portion is different, and we're gonna talk about that in a sec, it's more of a triangular shape and it's like a lot bigger than that micro brow pencil from Fenty, the brush is the exact same. So if you're someone like me that was kind of just eyeing the Fenty one because of the brush, I would say try the NYX one. The biggest difference, and again, the reason I was kind of like dragging my feet, like do I mention it in this video or not, is because the actual pencils themselves are pretty different. The NYX one, like I said, is much bigger and it's more triangularly shaped, but it's super creamy. So a little bit, you can quickly get out of hand, but I just love the brush. So I would say maybe buy the NYX one, give that brush a try, and then if you love the brush, you could just use that with a different eye pencil. That is all. I'm gonna be honest, I, in my notes app, have like 20 more dupes. I'm planning on doing this video again in about a month. So if you love these kinds of videos, stick around, subscribe, check out some of my other dupes videos. I promise there are so many good ones in there and I do it the same way where you get to see them both kind of side by side. And of course, I'd love to say hey to you over on my Instagram and TikTok. It is at it's Jessica Braun on all of those. Also on Facebook if you're more into that. Also on Twitter if you're more into that. It's all the same screen name. I feel like the term screen name is like a early internet term. You know what I mean? Like no one says it anymore. Maybe they say handle. If you're still watching, let me know below what is your best drugstore dupe? What is something that either is a perfect dupe for something high end or you think it's even better? I want to know. I want to try them out. Put them in the comments. We'll get a big long list going down there, which is just fun for all of us to be able to peruse. So thanks ahead of time. And thank you, of course, for watching all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys in my next one.